winning is a universal language. Last year we were national champions. The way they do it at Davis Field in Jackson is a bit different. 15 kids playing, you know, we play eight men football. They're playing both sides of the ball. But that isn't what makes this team unique. The Bulldogs are all deaf and represent the state's lone school for the hearing impaired. I mean, we can play football. You know, hearing people don't believe us. We have to show ourselves. We have to prove ourselves every single time we walk on the field. I want to tell people that deaf can do anything. We can do it, period. Keith Brignac is the team's senior quarterback. All the students at the school live on campus from Sunday night through Friday afternoon before returning to their families. For Brignac, that trip is especially long. His family is from uh, Gulfport. So they travel, um, they go home every Friday. And so that's a four and a half hour trip on a bus. And they come back every Sunday. That's another four and a half hour trip on a bus. Yet even that travel pales in comparison to the team's road trips. Since there are so few deaf schools throughout the Southeast, the team usually crosses state lines for their road games. It is long travel. Of course, you usually have to go there and spend the night the next night. Sometimes we'll stay two nights and come back the next day. So that's some tough traveling, but you know, pretty much have to do in your deaf schools because the competition and a lot of schools won't play us around here. Despite the small roster, the Bulldogs would give many full-scale high school teams a tough matchup. Their star running back, junior Darius Trice, caught the eye of high school coaching legend Bobby Hall at a camp this summer. Uh, Coach Hall said he's probably one of the best players he saw out there, so the kid is very talented. Trice, who's attracted attention of colleges, runs a 4-6-7-40. But when asked about the option of suiting up for a non-deaf high school team, I would always stay at the deaf school because if I joined the hearing school, I would feel awkward. How am I going to communicate with the coaches and my teammates? On top of playing other deaf schools, the Bulldogs face non-deaf competition, where they use their perception of being disadvantaged to their advantage. When we play against hearing schools, it's obvious that they come in thinking, oh, this deaf, you know, Deaf squad is nothing, they're going to be easy. But then we come out and we're playing so aggressively that they kind of get shocked. This night, the Bulldogs drew Louisiana School for the Deaf, another powerhouse who handed them their lone loss earlier this season. You want, win, you want that now? <laughs> With revenge on their mind, they quickly jumped out to a 14 0 lead, scoring on their first two offensive plays before holding on late for a 40 26 win. Just back in first place and we need the points to put some overall standings. So we, to, we, we, we should win the rest of our games the rest of the year. And if they can, the players know exactly what that would mean. In Jackson, Mike Perchick, 16 WAPT News.